So you would have seen us going to the pumpkin patch and in case you missed that, check that video. We ended up getting four pumpkins from the patch and in this video, you'll see we'll be carving them and showing you our top three super simple carving tips and tricks to carve the pumpkins in no time. Hopefully these tips and tricks will help you to keep the pumpkins from drying up too fast and cut down your work. Welcome back to Adia's world where we explore the new world of parenthood through our two ladybugs. Yay! Looks like our pumpkins are coming up and we are ready to carve them. In case you are curious how we decorated a porch, watch until the end as you'll see that in this video as well. To be honest, we never thought much about Halloween until we had our two girls and it made me realize how much fun it can be and especially the fun activities that you can do as a family. Here is tip number one. Unlike the conventional method of carving the opening at the top to remove the pumpkin seeds and the flesh, cut the opening at the bottom. Once you set them down, no one will see the opening and it will look super clean. And it tends to keep the pumpkin moist longer without drying up too quickly. It is also much easier to install the candles and if you are using LED lights to light up, it's much easier and cleaner to wire. Tip number two. Don't you guys hate to scoop the inside using a spoon or hands or scraper and every pumpkin is so different inside and it's quite labor intense. Yes, so if you've got a driller and the beater accessory that comes with your hand mixer, consider the job done in no time. As you can see, my husband went through the cleanup job literally in no time. Take the beater accessory, attach to your driller and start removing the inside fiber and seeds. Make sure to start off with the lowest possible speed and work your way up as required. It will go super fast and all you gotta do is the final scooping and clean up with a spoon and you're done. Okay, so it looks like my husband is finishing with the first pumpkin and it's now the time for the girls to reveal. Okay, here we go. So last year, Ovia was a baby and this year she has a good sense of what we are doing and she's also super excited to participate. This year, Halloween is quite special for us, so let's make it fun! Looks like our first pumpkin is good to go. Tip number three, when you are cutting the pumpkin open at the bottom, cut it in an angle. This will help you to close it back tightly and again helps to keep the pumpkin stay more longer without drying up. You can also use this trick as my husband is using here right now to cut the eyes and nose. So it gives more character and depth to the shapes that you are carving. Okay, so my husband finished it and the girls are going to reveal the second pumpkin. Ooh, so okay, so this pumpkin has a different face from the first one and it's good to go. Now moving on to the third pumpkin. Okay, so the third pumpkin is done and Ovia is beginning the revealing. Mouth? Okay. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. First, let them do. Look at that. 
So third one is all good to go. And now even I'm curious to see how the fourth one is going to look like. So let's see the fourth one. Last but not the least, the fourth one is done. And let's see how it looks. Oh, the little cutie pie got scared. <laughs> All done, all the four pumpkins are carved and ready for the decorations. We kept our Halloween decor super simple and small this year as we did have so much other activities going on with our two ladybugs and didn't have much time for shopping. But I honestly don't think kids care about it at this stage on how elaborate you do. As everything you do at this stage is something new, something fun, something entertaining and something to explore for them anyways. So I guess it all worked out. See me? Yeah, I see the huh? Let's see if we can huh? spend more time next oh, year yeah. as I'm sure my husband would love to do more fancy carvings. Let us know if you found these tips useful and how your Halloween activities went with your kids in the comments below. We did the setup at night. The girls insisted on looking at the setup in the morning, and here we are. So, see you in our next video, which is going to be baking with our two ladybugs, which is an eggless pumpkin cake. And until then, happy parenting!